Hey there, this is Randy here with Wrenching with Randy, and today we're gonna install this Eaton supercharger on that Nissan Xterra, which already has an Eaton supercharger. You see right there, what are we gonna do? Put on two? That'd be awesome, but no, we're gonna take the other one off first because it don't work. This one, I got out of junkyard, and I think this might be its third time around on an Xterra because it's already got the gasket junk already on it, and I'm pretty sure that wasn't factory. So we blasted some crud out of there. Crud blasters! And now we're gonna take the other one off. Let's see how it's done. I mean, we're gonna see how it's done because I don't really know. Let me go get my 14 millimeter. All right, first thing we're doing is taking off these bolts that hold the supercharger on the manifold. You're gonna want an extension for that because I've done it with just a wrench and you can do it that way, but you end up wrecking a lot of other stuff in there. Like that, I'm gonna just take out our supercharger here. Come on, you. So anyhow, we're just gonna, we're gonna pull those off, get those out of the way. Then we're gonna give that a healthy shove that way. And then we're just gonna gracefully lift it right on out of there. Yep. See you later, you hunk of junk. All right, now we're swapping some parts over here on the workbench where it's easier to get at. Like I can do this a lot easier right here than I can when it's sitting on the engine now. Here's an important point to make. When you're putting stuff like this back in, you gotta flick that and make your wrench, make your socket go the other way because now we're tightening. It makes sense. We're gonna make our own gaskets. That's how I do it. This is the right stuff, it says. Hopefully that's true. Now it looks like somebody already attacked this one with some RTF. So we're just gonna redo it. And no, it won't be pretty, but at this point, that's not really the end goal. We just wanna get our Xterra supercharged again. And we can't be spending tens of dollars on fancy real gaskets. And that's it, and that's how I replace a supercharger in a 2002 Nissan Xterra 3.3. Now, we're gonna wait about 90 minutes for this silicone to set. I don't know, we'll probably go. It's not making any weird noise that I can hear from here. Oh, she's purring. Oh, I'm sorry, you just caught me working out with this crap supercharger. <laughs> Once you execute a job like this, time to celebrate. Cheers. If you want to know how to do this, just watch the video. All right, that's it. I think we're ready to race. So a couple things we kind of glossed over. In here, you take these off and then you just kind of slide it out. Like I didn't really feel the need to elaborate on that because it's kind of obvious. You take those off and it slides out. So uh, you don't need to worry about that. Don't take that off. That's the snout. And over here, you got, I don't know, some kind of a valve. I guess it's a dump valve or something. This thing only makes but three PSI a boost. So I don't know really know why it's a dump valve, but you just pull all that off and it comes off. It's really like you don't even need an owner's manual to do this. You just look at it and say, all right, you take off those eight bolts or whatever and you take off this stuff and it just, it comes right out. It was easy. And I mean, believe it or not, I don't really know what I'm doing. Randy?